So in the last video, we talked about ARP and broadcast and VLANs. And we talked about two subnets, 10.1.1, which is this one. And we talked about the other subnet, which is sitting in this diagram here below. So now if uh, these two wanted to talk, they can do it via an L2 switch. Layer 2 switch. Layer 2 switch is a switch, a device that connects computers and it works on MAC addresses. So it will learn the MAC addresses and switch packets based on MAC addresses as we looked at in the last video. What happens when two different subnets wants to talk to each other? There is uh, two ways to do this. The uh, old fashioned way is put a router in the middle and uh, call that router as a gateway for VLAN 22, which re represents 10, 1, 1, dot zero. And, um, the gateway for this VLAN would be this router, 10.1.1.254 or whatever address you want to assign. And this port is going to be a trunk port. A trunk port is a port that has two or more VLANs or VLAN trunks or tags going on it. So this port of router is going to be like Ethernet 0 0.22 and Ethernet 0 0.11. And if this is VLAN 11 for the subnet 10.22.0, then their gateway is going to be 10.1.10.2.2.254. So if they want to talk to source and destination, they're going to send the packet first to their gateway, this router. And then from here, the router is going to route to that machine. The other way to do this is to get an L3 switch. An L3 switch is like a router except that it's got a lot of ports for Mac addressing as well, or Mac forwarding as well. So L3 switch is an L2 plus L3. So it works on a Mac addressing forwarding level as well as the L3 IP address forwarding level. In this case, the L3 switch would have, say if this is VLAN 22, and if this is VLAN 11, the L3 switch will have an interface called VLAN 11 and an interface called VLAN 22. And they will be consisting of the ports that are part of VLAN 22. And their address is going to be the address of the gateway just like in the router trunk board. So in this case, it's going to be 10.22.254. And the address for this guy is going to be 10.11.254. And that's the gateway for VLAN 11. And that's the gateway for VLAN 22. So L3 switch or a traditional router on a stick with a trunk board that would have the IPs configured.